hi guys in this video I am going to fix Wi-Fi does not have a valid IP configuration error in Windows 10 so let's see how it is done uh, first of all what you need to do is to press Windows plus R key together and now in the run box just type cmd.exe okay and click on OK to open the command prompt. Now you have to type IP config space slash release. Okay. Just hit enter and this command will get executed. Now you have to type another command that is named IP config space slash renew okay hit enter okay so just check that this error got resolved or not if this does not get resolved we'll move to the method 2 and solution 2 what you need to do is to enter one more command that is net sh space when sock enter okay this is the command just click it then type net sh int ip reset okay now restart your computer and your problem will get fixed but if your problem unfortunately persists and is still there so you can move on to the next method in the next method what you have to do is to press windows plus r together on your keyboard to open the run command box and now type services dot msc okay now click on ok to open the service manager window now you have to find wired auto config okay you have to find wired auto config okay this service wired auto config surface you have to find now right click and click on properties now make sure to make it automatic and this service status is stopped click on start to start the service okay so the service is running this is automatic now click on apply and click on OK. Now one more thing. Just do this with this service also. WLAN auto config. Right click on it. Click on properties. Now make sure this is running and the starter type is automatic. Okay. Once this is done. Check that if your problem is solved or not most probably your problem must have been solved if it's still there the error is still there there's one foolproof final solution which you can do what you can do is to search device manager okay now in the device manager windows opens up what you need to do is to expand network adapters and just find your wireless driver right click on it and click on uninstall just proceed with the uninstallation okay uninstall okay so this is uninstalling device once this has uninstalled the device do not worry just click on action now click on scan for hardware changes okay so it will again reinstall the driver now check your problem must have been solved guys 
so if you have been helped by this video please do subscribe to our channel like our video for supporting me so that i can keep making more helpful videos like this thank you guys